principal component analysis, um, shortened as PCA, uh, I believe is um, a great way to um, not only show distances um, in terms of uh, different populations um, and their uh, autosomal DNA, but especially a diaspora group such as uh, the Jewish people who, you know, has origins, ancient origins in the Levantine Middle East from the ancient Israelites and then experienced multiple exiles, diasporas, where, you know, they uh, settled around the world and uh, mixed with um, the local populations. And this is evident in both the uh, original uh, Levantine ancestry and the diaspora admixture is uh, evident in uh, really visualized is visualized in PCA, and I want to give a um, props uh, a plug to Genoplot, which I will leave a link to. Uh, really, really great uh, uh, DNA ancestry admixture site. You can run a bunch of admixture calculators there. You can do your own PCA um, plotting. And it's, um, it's a very visual site, and uh, I really recommend it. And they made this PCA uh, for, uh, titled Ashkenazi, Sephardi, and Mizrahi Jewish uh, PCA. And I just want to just show you really quick, because it really um, shows the, um, you know, what the, the diaspora looks like sort of on a PCA plot on a map. Um, and you can see that... Um, I'm going to just uh, zoom in here a bit, and but you can see this the, this massive um, cluster in the middle, and this is um, the Ashkenazi Sephardic Jews, and um, you can see how close uh, and overlapping Ashkenazi and Sephardic Jews are in the PCA. Um, but oh, by the way, it uses uh, uh, sort of as the reference uh, in terms of distance Ashkenazi Germany average. Um, and you can see that, you know, Sephardic and Ashkenazi Jews basically cluster with, um, Southern Italians, Sicilians, and Greek Islanders, um, in particular, uh, like Greek, uh, Cretans and, um, and, uh, other, uh, related, uh, Greek Island people. Um, I would also include Mal the P Malta, people from Mal the Maltese Maltese as well, but that's not included in this PCA. Um, but the, but that's Ashkenazi and Sephardic Jews, very close, clustering very, very close together, tight, tight cluster, form a tight cluster there in this PCA. And you can also see, um, and just for perspective, you can see, um, you know, they included uh, French, Paris, and Spanish, Andalusia. And you can see that they get some, you know, they're not in that cluster at all. They're, they're, they're separated. They have their own separate clusters. And then you can see North African Jews. And you can see that North African Jews are not are close um, to the Ashkenazi Sephardic cluster. Um, um, some and somewhat overlapping a bit with uh, with Sephardic Jews. Um, and uh, it, it show, goes to show that uh, how close the Western diaspora is in terms of Jewish the uh, uh, shared ancestry. Because you you know you have the Ashkenazi Sephardic cluster and then you have the North African Jewish cluster right next to it, and I would also add uh, in this in these two clusters, um, a bit overlapping. I would also add uh, Italian Jews and uh, Romaniote Jews, who are the Jews uh, of Greece, the Greek the Greek Jews. Um, they they would also be added to this. They would also fall into this cluster, and then so you know you go a little bit further towards the uh, the La Levant. And uh, you can see, like, uh, here, I'll, this is the, um, the legend here, just so you get a, a sense of uh, the populations that they used. Uh, Greek Creek, Greek Coast was the other uh, island. But they, you know, the Ashkenazi Germany, Ashkenazi Poland, Ashkenazi Russia, Ashkenazi Ukraine. And then um, sort of the Lebanese or the, the Levantine, you know, populations, Le uh, Lebanese, uh, Caria, Egypt. Uh, which, uh, which is very close to the Levantine populations, uh, Lebanese Christian, Lebanese Muslim, Palestinian Beit Sahor, which who are um, Levantine Christians, 
Um, the Samaritans, you can see that uh, in green, the Samaritans form their own cluster here. And, um, and then Sephardic Jews, Sicilian East, Sicilian West, Spanish Andalusia, Tunisian Jew, and Yemenite Jew. And um, also the Iranian Jews and Iraqi Jews. So you can see sort of like this is like the, you know, the Levantine area here. And then you can see if you go a little bit uh, north and east, you can see that Iranian and Iraqi Jews form their own cluster as well. Um, right there, you can see you can see the Iranian Jews and the Iraqi Jews. And I would also add to this uh, to this cluster of uh, uh, Georgian Jews, uh, Bukharian Jews, um, Kurdish Jews, uh, Mountain Jews, um, sort of like uh, the, the, those, uh, you know, Uzbekistan Jews, you know, Azeri Jews, those kind of, the basically the Mizrahi, um, for the most part, uh, would fall under this, uh, in the same cluster, would, would cluster with the Iranian and Iraqi Jews. And um, uh, so, um, also not on this PCA, but like Syrian Jews are a bit of like a mix of the of, of Western diaspora and Eastern diaspora. So Syrian Jews would, you know, would probably would uh, probably fall somewhere in between the the Levantine and the and the uh, Ashkenazi Sephardic North African Jewish clusters, right around you know in this area. And then you have um, down here you have the Yemenite Jews who form their own cluster, and um, you know, because the uh, Yemenite Jews are, are close to other non-Jewish Yemenite populations, as well as like Saudis um, and like peninsula, you know, basically peninsula Arabs. Um, so in terms of autos their autosomal DNA, so you can see that they're, that they're very distinct cluster there. And um, also, if, if you added like Ethiopian Jews, they would form their own cluster as well, um, a, a farther south and east from Yemenite Jews, because Ethiopian Jews uh, are similar to non-Jewish Ethiopian populations and, and other East Africans in terms of their autosomal DNA. And then the other diaspora Jewish group I would I would I would mention is like the Co Cochin Jews, or you know the the uh, the in from India, and they would uh, they would mostly fall like more eastern. They would form their own cluster more to the east um, if if you pl plotted them in PCA. Um, but you know that that's it right there. I just wanted to make a quick video showing this uh, this interesting PCA, and I'll also leave a link to it as well. But it sort of goes to show just sort of the the Eastern diaspora, the Western diaspora, different Jewish groups and their clusters. But I think it's interesting to show this massive cluster where Ashkenazi and Sephardic Jews, and also a bit North African Jews, really, you know, are super Mediterranean, falling, you know really close to like Mediterranean Islander populations, especially in certain Southern European populations, especially Southern Italian, mixed Mediterranean populations like Southern Italians, Sicilians, Maltese, and Greek Islanders. And thank you for watching.